How's it going YouTube and my future self? Welcome back to the Lab TCG. My name is Will and today I'm going to be talking about the supplies that I use for my Pokemon business. Uh, in future videos I'm going to go into exactly how to ship orders, where to buy the best supplies and all of that. But for this video, I'm going to give you the list of supplies in an Excel sheet that kind of shows my price per item, how much it costs me to ship different things, and a little bit more about that. So we're going to be going over all sorts of stuff like top loaders, uh, penny sleeves, distribution, etc. So stay tuned for more. This is going to really help you get going with your Pokemon business. And uh, in this Excel sheet, you can email me at thelabtcg at gmail.com, and I'll just send you the Excel sheet, or you can just look at it through this video. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into it. Here's the Excel sheet we're going to be looking at for today. I uploaded a TikTok briefly showcasing the actual items that we're going to be talking about. If you want to check out that TikTok, go ahead and follow the TikTok account. It's at the Lab TCG on TikTok. Um, but as for the actual supplies, this is pretty much everything I use for the singles part of my business. Uh, the Shipping booster boxes and stuff, I haven't done a whole lot of that yet, and I still need to buy boxes to ship booster boxes. I have, like, random boxes lying around the house that I've been using for eBay, um, but as for, like, an actual booster box uh, that would be sold on the website, for example, I still need to buy those boxes. Um, if not, I would just, like, bubble mailer, priority mailer, and let the customer know that it's going to be shipped that way. Um, but as for TCG Player and eBay, this is pretty much the pricing model that I use with my shipping supplies. So over here... And all these are hyperlinks. Uh, this first one is for envelopes. I believe this is a link to Amazon. Uh, there is a listing for about 500 envelopes. They are windowed and adhesive with security. So this is what they look like. And right there, adhesive. Basically, send this out. Um, I have my stamp somewhere. I got this little guy. Put that on there. And then my address is on the shipping label. Uh, so that's the envelope. The envelopes... I bought 500 of them for a price of $27.18, and that comes to an average price per envelope of about $0.05, cents, rounding down, six, call it $0.06. Cents. We have that there. Penny sleeves, I got 15,000 penny sleeves from my distributor for a total cost of $72.99. Uh, that's going to come out to less than a penny per sleeve. So this is excellent. Uh, this is, you know, just the orders will over time pay for this. Penny sleeves are great. They're not old sleeves that have been reused. I don't, you know, um, depending on the order size, I will use old sleeves that I have accumulated from buying collections or whatnot. But generally speaking, if it's a bigger order that's more than like a regular bulk card, I like to use penny sleeves. They look nice and professional, and I think it completes the look of the package. If you just throw a random sleeve in there, not great. But uh, yeah, if you're ordering a 25 cent card, then I'm going to use any sleeve I want. Uh, then we have cardboard sleeves. I showed these in the TikTok and I'll show them again. These are basically a replacement for top loaders because top loaders right now are incredibly expensive. So if you take a look, it is just a sheet of cardboard and it has a bend right here. You bend it and it kind of goes like that. So these are for vending machines. That's what their actual purpose is. And we'll take this random escape board. Ideally what you would do is you would grab a sleeve for this purpose, we will use a regular random sleeve. Grab the card, put it in the sleeve like so. Then you grab some tape right here. Tape that. And then you take the cardboard sleeve, put the card on it like so, and you tape the bottom. Essentially what this does is it allows that card to kind of hang like this. And when you close it all up, that's what it looks like. And you slide it in your TCG player envelope, and it's not going to move around. Um, I still use top loaders for expensive cards but these are a pain to get right now they're extremely expensive and it would actually hurt the margins that I'm doing on TCG player if I use those top loaders so we're sticking to the cardboard sleeves for now haven't had an issue with them and uh, shout out to Michael from sleeved up gaming on TCG player if you want to go check him out also on eBay for recommending me those cardboard sleeves they've been great and uh, they come in at almost four cents per item uh, the distributor that supplies those to me is public you can go on there and buy them there's a sort center or distribution center near me in baltimore i could go pick them up if i wanted to but it's about an hour so if i were to order a ton of them i would probably go do something like that um, but for now if i have them shipped to my house i can order two thousand of them for 7309 and it comes to under four cents per uh, cardboard sleeve 
And then stamped the stamp rate right now as of November 29th, 2021, it'll probably go up in the future, is 58 cents per stamp. So I just factored that in. I know there's ways to get stamps for cheaper, but I like to overestimate on the stamp price um, just so that it is in there and it's factored in the cost. Then uh, the penny sleeves are right there. I got 8,000 of them. Actually, I believe these are the team bags. So let me fix that. So not the penny sleeves, the team bags. I bought 8,000 of them at $82. Uh, this was a local deal. There's some antique marts that are near me. And one of the people that runs the booths there is like a, a huge sports card vendor. Um, so I was able to work out a deal with him. Penny or, uh, Team bags are also pretty expensive right now. So if you can find them locally or if you can find a bulk deal, uh, that's going to be your best bet. Some distributors do do supplies. But right now, because there are shortages on pretty much all the supplies, it's pretty hard to get them from uh, distributors. So if a distributor emails me and says, hey, we have supplies, I instantly snatch it up because it almost always sells out. With those penny sleeves, I got an email about them and they were sold out the next day. So I, I just grabbed as many as I could. Um, but for the team bags, got 8,000 of them for $82, and that comes out to a little bit over a cent per uh, team bag. So with all that combined, you got the penny sleeve, a cardboard sleeve, envelope, and a stamp. And I'm not accounting for tape, um, but tape down here, I, I do have some calculations, but uh, I'm not really accounting for tape. I pretty much only use one strip of tape, and that's just to secure the card to the cardboard sleeve. Um, the price of the stamp, if I get it for less, we can factor that in that there's tape there. Uh, but the total for just shipping a single card is just about 68 cents. Uh, TCG Player does have a 78 cent minimum shipping expense if your uh, cost of your cart is under $5. So majority of the time when I'm selling cheap cards on TCG Player, the 78 cents shipping that TCG Player charges the buyer ends up covering that entire shipping cost. Uh, if the if the buyer is paying over five dollars, their shipping is free on my store at least. And at that point, I would factor in that sixty eight cents into my profit calculation. Uh, so, but that is what I pay out the door to send a single, pretty much anywhere in the U.S. sixty seven five seven 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 rounding. So about sixty eight cents is how much it costs me to send a card. Um, and the goal as always with my business is going to be how can I get this cost cheaper? Um, so, after the holiday season, when shipping supplies aren't in, in demand anymore, I'm going to try and get new ways to buy all this stuff, especially boxes. I've noticed boxes are way more expensive now than they were a couple months ago. I was watching a video talking about a listing that had boxes for about 15 cents a box. Went to go look at that listing, and this is for the booster boxes, by the way, and they were charging almost a dollar per box. So big difference there. Um, and you're always going to save money if you buy this stuff in bulk. So don't be afraid to buy 500 bubble mailers, which we'll go into next for $63 because it's way better than going to the post office and paying $4 for a single bubble mailer. Just end up buying more. This is a business. You're going to be wanting to do this in large amounts of volume. So you might as well just buy the stuff in bulk. It will make your average order uh, expense cheaper. So going into singles with a bubble mailer, this is basically the same concept. We're going to be taking uh, a single card with a bubble mailer and a cardboard sleeve. Uh, the top loader could be interchanged here, but the top loader is going to be a little bit more expensive. Either way really works. So the penny sleeve carries over from the other expense. It's going to be about five cents. The cardboard sleeve, same thing, about four cents. Then the bubble mailer itself, this is what I was just talking about. Uh, for a single card order, I use 500 count bought it at 63.55 and it comes to about 13 cents per bubble mailer. It says 12 1271, but we'll call it 13 cents. So the bubble mailers look like this. I got 500 of these things. They're just yellow like regular. I believe the brand is Kraft. I'm not 100% sure. Bubble mailers, 13 cents for one of these guys. That's going to be protecting all of your more expensive cards. So on TCG player, it's $20. Uh, to ship anything without tracking and then anything over that they recommend you use tracking bubble mailers are great for that um, Expensive cards. I'll usually add some more protection Maybe a second bubble mailer around it or additional top loaders cardboard sleeves, etc But for the most part anything over $20. I just do this um, And it also also for eBay if I sell stuff on eBay, I usually use the standard envelope um, shipping stuff or just a bubble mailer and while we're on that topic with eBay I do have a Rolo printer. If you don't know what that is, it's a thermal printer. And basically that means that you do not need to buy ink for it. It heats labels onto the label paper and that's how it creates the label. Uh, I also use um, 
labels from UPS. I don't pay for those labels. We'll talk about that in another video, but basically you can create a UPS business account, get free labels, and uh, you're using UPS, so that's how you do that. You basically have labels for free, and the thermal printer is a one-time cost. It is pretty expensive up front, um, but past that, it's not too bad. Ink is really expensive, and I hate using ink, um, but I do use ink for my TCG player business, just how it is. With eBay, though, thermal labels is the way to go. And uh, with a standard envelope, I will just take the envelope and put the label right on top of it uh, and just hand it to the post office. Works totally fine. Then for video games um, and bigger card purchases, usually if I sell stuff to people and they are ordering, you know, card like 50 cards or 100 cards or more, that can get very heavy, first of all, so you're not going to be sending that in an envelope. Uh, and on top of that, it's just not safe just throwing it into a bubble mailer and letting it be. So for those, we got the number two bubble mailers, 8.5 by 12. Um, I don't have those handy. They're back there somewhere, but they are larger bubble mailers, probably about this big, give or take. Uh, with video games, I just slide the video game in and then wrap the like extra side and put it on top. If the video game is expensive, I will do two of those, um, maybe add some cardboard, but for just a regular video game, it's going to be uh, that 26 cents, give or take. And with those, I bought 200 of them. Um, I don't really ship as many things in the big bubble mailers, but uh, in the future, I'm sure I'm going to end up buying more of those. You can also ship booster boxes in those. So something I'm probably going to do, this would be from Danny Phantom's YouTube channel, take a bubble mailer, stick the booster box in it, and then put it in a box. Or if it's on set release, use a prim priority mail flat rate envelope right here. You just put the booster box in a regular bubble mailer, put that on top of it, and send it out. Um, that way you're using the priority mail shipping, which I think is about $8 right now. Depends where you're shipping it. I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct rate. But uh, that is the bubble mailer stuff for singles primarily. Uh, and there's also a thing on the side for the single video games that it's pretty much the same. It's just the bubble mailer price of the 8 ounces, or the 8 by 12 um, and then also with this, we have right here, this zero for shipping cost. That's because with the envelopes, it would be 58 cents for the stamp. That's basically what you're paying to ship said item. With the bubble mailers, however, you do need to print first class shipping, priority shipping, whatever shipping you are paying USPS, UPS, FedEx, pirate ship, whatever, you're paying them that cost. So that is another thing to factor in. So say my shipping to wherever was $3.50, I would then need to add on 17 cents in expense on that bubble mailer and anything else that I use to that cost and that would be my total shipping cost for all that stuff um, and then for larger items this is really going to be what I do with Amazon uh, when I sell video games and consoles to Amazon you can pretty much fit most consoles like Wii's, GameCube's, um, PlayStation Slim's not that I've sold those I pretty much only sell Nintendo stuff but Wii's and GameCube's we'll just go with those for now those will fit in a 12 by 8 by 6 box for consoles. These I paid up for. I'm sure I could get these boxes cheaper later on, but I needed these for the holiday season and I waited too long. I got 20, 25 of them for 1957. Came out to about 79 cents a box. That's really good considering these consoles are selling for like $100 minimum. So that's excellent. Uh, and then FBA labels. I just did this as a one time huge purchase. I'm probably not going to have to buy this again just because of how many there are but about 15,000 FBA labels for $38.15 which comes to less than a penny per label and these are they look like this uh, I don't know if it's showing it but basically if you were to peel off one of these it would just be a little white box and that's what you use your printer to print the information for Amazon to go ahead and process those items um, and that's pretty much that. So that's pretty much everything I have on this Excel sheet. We also have the tape, really like not a huge deal, but I do uh, purchase larger tape like this and smaller tape like this occasionally. So I do have that in there just as a price factor, but pretty much for the majority of the stuff that I do with my business, I either recycle boxes that I, you know, order stuff on Amazon from my family, order stuff on Amazon, neighbors order stuff on Amazon. Amazon boxes are probably one of the best things I use for eBay. Um, like, why would I pay for boxes if I can just recycle boxes that are already out? Um, and then anything related to sleeves, or sorry, <laughs> single cards is going to be on this Excel sheet. All of these things are hyperlinks. Like I said, if you email me at thelabtcg at gmail.com, 
and uh, ask for the sheet, I'll go ahead and give it to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, the DMs are open. The comment section is open. Um, appreciate your subscription to the channel. If you're here, check out the website. We do got a bulk buy list section on there if you wanna sell some bulk to get started with some capital um, or anything else, just feel free to reach out to me. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.